Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown, your carrot train concussion doctor and board certified chiropractic neurologist. Today I'm going to do a part two to a video in which I reviewed an article titled Linoleic Acid, Good or Bad for the Brain. And I was pretty scientific. It wasn't as layman as it could be. So I wanted to clarify some reasons for highlighting that particular article. First off, we have three main fatty acids that we talk about. We have saturated, monosaturated, and polyunsaturated. They are, fats are carbons that are connected together and it can either be by a single bond or a double bond. So a saturated fatty chain is going to have all single bonds. The monosaturated is gonna have mostly single bonds but at least one double bond, while the polyunsaturated are going to have mostly single but many double uh, double bonds. Now, the difference between the two is that a single bond is stable and not oxidative, whereas a double bond is not stable and oxidative. So when we talk about this, we have omega-3 and we have omega-6, and these are all polyunsaturated fats. Omega-3s talk about being so great, but really they're not stable. That's why they will typically add vitamin E to it. They are a little different than something like an omega-6, but I still wouldn't say that they are the greatest thing ever. Now, this paper, linoleic acid, is an omega-6. I want to highlight the where you find these, um, these fatty acid profiles. They're in all fats, but what these profiles look like in food. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is tallow because tallow was referenced in the study and it has a different breakdown. So when I give these profiles, it is first saturated, than the amount of monosaturated, than the amount of polyunsaturated in these. Tallow, by the way, is a rendered beef fat, so it comes from animal. So a tallow profile is 50% saturated, 41% monosaturated, and 4% polyunsaturated. Butter is 15, I'm sorry, butter is 66% um, saturated fat, 26% monosaturated, and 3% polyunsaturated. Next, when it goes to the higher level of saturated fats that I typically will recommend for patients is coconut oil, which is technically 91% saturated, 7% monosaturated, and 2% polyunsaturated. Now, when we look at vegetable oils, which is where we get most of these polyunsaturated fats, which have not been good for us, again, Dr. Kate Shanahan, Tucker Goodrich, Tommy Wood, there's one other person not coming to my mind. I'll understand this at great detail and I'd recommend going and finding podcasts that they have been on. But when we look at soybean oil, it's 15% saturated, 23% mono, and 54% polyunsaturated fatty acids. Corn oil is 14% saturated fat, 32% monosaturated, and 52% polyunsaturated. Safflower oil, 6% um, saturated, 14% monosaturated, and 74% polyunsaturated. Now, the concern for this in the studies I referenced talked about encephalomalacia. They're able to feed enough of this omega-6 to chicks and they get softening of the brain. Encephalomalacia is softening of the brain that they typically see on autopsy. When you go look this up, they call it soft um, cerebral softening. And when they talk about therapies, it's removing the reason that there is this softening. So strokes can cause it, inflammation can cause it, and these unstable polyunsaturated fats are inherently oxidative, which bring about inflammation. Now, my concern in highlighting this is my concussion patients. I can have two people present totally different, have a similar aspect maybe to their concussion, similar histories, similar age match profiles, and they respond totally different. And my question is always, what is their fatty acid profile and does this make a difference? So knowing in my master's program, that's the ultimate question for me. People say, oh, I, I don't eat these polyunsaturated fats. Well, let me highlight some of the foods that they're in. I see people eating them all the time. Your salad dressing that you think is so great, go read the labels. They're all gonna have soybean or canola and olive oil. You have to be very particular about how you buy it because they'll put canola in and it's not labeled. So you have to source it well. And olive oil is actually mostly monosaturated um, fat. So we have our um, salad dressings. We have our French fries. I don't know a place that I could go buy French fries that are cooked in tallow. They used to be at McDonald's, but now it's done in vegetable oils. Um, let's see, chips. 
if people eat potato chips, crackers all the time, read the label. You won't see it on the nutrition facts, but you have to read the ingredients, polyunsaturated fat, and know that they can live in your system for up to two years, according to Kate Shanahan. Not good. So hopefully this clarifies my concern and the reason why I went over that paper in particular. Linoleic acid, good or bad for the brain? I would argue bad. Thanks. You can subscribe below um, if you'd like to follow what I have to say, and we'll see you next time.